just some of the basic people. And our numbering system for the number of cards. So this is one thing you have to memorize. The other ones are related to geometry, so you probably know the number. If there's one carbon, it's meth. And that will only happen for methane as far as we're concerned. Okay? Um, but then there's some small groups we'll see where methyl is important. Okay, anyways, continuing on. Two. One meth, two eth is the prefix, three is prop, like in propane, and four is butte. You have to have those in your head. The other ones I think you know. Five tent, six hex, seven hep, eight oct, nine nona, non, and ten is dec, like it's in dec. Okay. So those ones you probably know. One, two, three, four is what you have to know. Meth, F, prop, <coughs> Now, when I say branch, hydrocarbon. This is where you have not just a straight line of carbon. That's something like butane. Before each channel, I'll pause while this mess is coming. Okay, whereas isobutene, you see it's really three in a row with one little attachment. Okay. You have to have a way to name some of these things. And actually, I, I don't know why I forgot when I was starting. That's a weird name in this class. So, So when we have little attachments, we have, say we have a really long chain, eight carbons in a row, but then there's some detours or something. We're going to use these names, and they should make sense. Meth, if you have a little branch with one carbon. We're going to take this to H3, but it's like this. Uh, ethyl groups are two carbons. Three carbons, propyl groups. Isopropyl, though, is a little different because you see how the propyl group has the attachment at the end. You have it attached in the middle of the group, or ice. And then the butyl group is four. And then, I'm not going to get into it, but there's things like isobutyl, tertubyl, and things like that. There's more variations, but these are just the basic ones that we're going to see. methyl groups, propyl groups, etc. If you think of the tank chain as the longest possible set of carbons in a row, this would be a propane group. Now, you see that there's a methyl group attached to it then, a single carbon branch right here. So, call that substitution. And in IUCAC, we call it UCAC, the official naming system. We're going to say, well, it's one, two, three carbons in a row. I'm going to call this a propane. And I kind of do the name backwards. So it's going to be, I'm going to start on the right hand side. Because I always like to figure out what's the longest chain possible. It's a propane group, that's three. We have it numbered one, two, three. It would be the same if I numbered it right to left. The second carbon has a single test. It's a methyl group. Methyl because it's one that's in circle. One carbon. So in front of that, I said I'm going to do it backwards. The way I said it was two methyl. That's how I mean. Oh, you'll miss. That's all right. The substituents are the attachments. Methyls, ethyls, propyls, etc. And our rules for naming this is that don't list them in numerical order, like two methyl or whatever, if there's more than one attachment. List them in alphabetical order. So the common ones we have are methyl, ethyl, propyl, sometimes you add four of those things on something, butyl would come before propane. Then another thing is, is if you had two methyl groups or something like that, you'd say dimethyl, trimethyl for something else, tetramethyl before, then you get repeated substitutions. But if you were talking about that alphabetical rule, still if it's dimethyl, you would not use D as the alphabetical order, you'd say 
design map of like Stokes County for the county, as far as we're going to live here. What we have to do by doing this, but those are the basics. What we have to do by doing this. So, when I look through there, I think first the number that's from right to left or left to right until I get the smaller numbers. You want the smallest numbers possible. Now, if I numbered it, I'm going to start with the non count. One, two, three, four, fifth carbon, sixth. I know that it's a hexa group. That's how long it's possible. But with that one, I have the third and the fifth <coughs> carbon. I can get lower numbers if I go from left to right. I'm going to just put that underneath it. You don't need to do this, but I'm showing what you think in your head. I think one, two, three carbon, four carbon, fifth carbon, sixth carbon. So I invite you to write that down, but it's not necessary. You at least have to think it through in your This number exists from two and four out of the uh, ten. It's clearly the, the lowest possible number for you. Okay? So, with the chain is hexa. So I think backwards, I told you with my name, I put down the parent chain, the longest possible chain. Yeah. Then, I've got a two, four methyl group. If that means two, I'm not going to say two methyl, four methyl. I'm going to say two, four, dying. Comma four tells me where they're attached. That is two methyl groups of dimethyl hex. Two four dimethyl hex. So that's a methyl group, and that's a methyl. Must have the group chain, the longest chain, chain. I did the group go left to right, so it does make a straight line chain, but that could have been going up and down, right to left as well. Sometimes a zigzaggy or L shape might be the longest chain. Let's take a look. I've drawn this two ways one in blue, one in red. Red is better. It's the compact way that I was showing you last week. It's easier to understand for that. So I'm on this end. So I think through. Is this the longest possible chain? Well, one, two, three, four, five. Can I get a longer chain anywhere else? No, this would be also five. Right? Or this chain would also be five. It's not going to go any longer, but I do have to consider all the possible routes. Sometimes one of the zigzagging chains will be long. Now, numbering wise, I'm going to go from left to right. One, two, because you see that's the two dimethyl. If I go the other way, it's one, two as well, but let's just go from left to right. You have more numbers, too, and more attached. One, two, three, four, five in a row. So that's a ten chain. And I've got methyl, uh, one, two, three groups of methyl. So I'm going to say trimethyl. And then I got a number of chains. It is two, four, but it's not just two, four. It's two, two, four. Because trimethyl, there's three groups. Yeah. yeah, and then I'm going to put this 2, comma, 2, comma, 4, dash. Prime methyl chain. That lists all three of the methyls where they're located. 2 and 2 and then 4. Okay? So try to have the smallest numbers possible. Any questions there? See, it, see, I've done it two different ways. I do think the red is the easiest. Well, we've got to look for the longest chain. 
If I go like this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Can I be eight? Well, if I do it like this, it's also eight. But look at this. What if I went this? Not. It doesn't have to be in a straight line. It can be this way, right? That's what you're doing. We know non is. Yeah, so I'm going to write that down for you. Yeah. Because they're long. That's the next one. So, one thing at a time. I'm using this as my parent chain, my long chain. If I went this way, one, two, three, the fourth one has an attachment, five, six, seventh one has this attachment. I went the other way, so I've got two, four, seven. I went this way. I said one, two, three, four, five, six. This gives me higher numbers. I got three, six, eight, right? So I'm going from right to left. So two, four, seven, time out of one. So every group I've done so far is a method. And that's actually the most common one. We'll have some others, and that's why I got four. Every semester we go for four. Okay. So I'm gonna walk. I've got on the next page a little bit of variation. I have two colors, don't let that throw you off. What's the longest chain? Straight left to right, straight up and down, or a zigzag is the way I think it's pretty clear. Okay, so left to right is four, up and down is four. What about when I say zigzag? Try to be a straight line, what about this? This is the long. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six in a row. So, and then you notice that on the one, two, the third carbon, we have this group, right? Does that make sense? So I'm going to actually, I can keep all that in my head. Third carbon, so three, methyl, not a dire, and then six in a row. Three, methyl, hex. Single bond, so hex to eight. So about half a group successful. First, we've got to find the longest chain. <coughs> like this is one, two, three, four, five in a row. This one, two, three, four, five in a row as well. So I think I think I just go with the straight line. It'll come up with the same name either way, but but I just find it easier to process in my head as a straight line. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to circle this one just because there's going to be a few things going on in here. Or circle long. This is my one, two, three, four, five, ten chain. Finally, a different attachment. So I've got 
This is a methyl group, and it's on the second carbon. And this is an ethyl group on the third carbon. Oh, I said ethyl, and I wrote down. What I wrote down is what I'm seeing. Now I'm going to put it all together for a name. But I want you to see what I'm seeing. Say your name. Okay, in alphabetical order between ethyl and methyl, so three ethyl is the Then the two methyl, two ethyl. And the pentane is always left, the A and B. So I'm going to go with three ethyl, it's not numerical, it's in alphabetical. Two six. And I put it there. Methyl. And the There's that alphabetical order thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys need a little bit of practice. Draw the following. Name this. Practice with these, then, okay? So you got two pages, five questions. They're big, so it's not bad. But you're going to pass. Okay, we'll take up these stretches as a group here. Put this away so I don't place it. Um, oh, here's the closing page straight. So, what we have here. Hmm. Decade. I suggest you put the C's in a row first. So I'm going to put 10 in a row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's my decade. Done. Now, I'm going to go from left to right for my number. Decade, decade. Figure out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the second one, I'm going to just put an attachment. Spot, and attach and spot on the third one. I just put it up and down so it's not too crowded. Can you put them both down, both up, whatever? One, two, three, four, and then five. On the second one and the third one, I'm going to put a methyl group, so that's CH3, CH3, and then a propyl group. That's three here, but I got to make sure I have it at the end. That's my propyl group. Make sense? Yeah. So then, for the rest of the carbons in the chain, now I can figure out how many carbons on these. On the tail end, I have three, space for three, because it forms one other carbon. On this one, the second carbon here, I got to think, okay, one bond this way, one bond this way, one bond this way, stay down. But that means I only have space for one more H. Likewise for this one. The middle one with no other attachments, the H3. The H. So we're going to use these as I know different classes would use different. Let's just do them with, I know what you're talking You use the big guys. I think they're like fully like, like this and then up. I'm talking I know what you're doing. But no, we're gonna stick to this. Okay. So I want you to do this. Three four five dot tri ethyl octane. So I put an eight in a row. Eight. 
On the third, fourth, and fifth, I put in ethyl groups. Pen will allow me. <coughs> then I'm attaching all my hydrogen. I'm preferring the smaller method, but if this other method makes sense to you, use it. Now, is the longest chain left to right? No, it's a zigzaggy one. Is that the one? And then numbering. From right to left, one, two, three, four. I think of this as right to left, one, two. Three, four, and then, because the chain goes like this, this one. Those are the smallest numbers. So that's the answer, I think. Okay, pause for a second there. Hopefully, you have that. They're always right. They're never wrong. I know you thought you were wrong once. So the same is stop. This is trying to make a piece first. M. Remember the prefix is die, try, etc. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to be too sticky on that one, I will tell you the truth. But I will encourage you to continue with this method. No, because M for math. As usual. If you think you're right, even though you're wrong. Do I miss B? Okay. This is B. Okay. And then I'll flip the page. Okay, you miss B, more like. But anyway, that's okay. I do miss things. Um, let me see here. Possibilities for this chain. I see that going this way or this way is the same startup, so I'm going to just go with the straighter line. Then I see that if I went straight across, I'd be only two here. I can see it's a longer chain if I go like this. So what I'm going to circle is what I'm going to use. I'm going to say, let's take a look at this. Okay, and the number system, I'm going to go from right to left. I think you can probably quickly see the smallest number starts on the right, right? So the base chain. Hmm. I'm going to go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's a decade. I'm going to put this down here. That is a decade chain. And then we have, well, let's go left to right on this. We have one, two, I should have put two methyl groups. We have a three ethyl group here. That should be a dash there. And then another ethyl group, six. We're going to put that over here. E before M, so I'm going to say diethyl. Who says diethyl? Uh, let's go. Three, six, diethyl. 
to Bethel. Yeah. That's the name I'm going to 